Hey guys, it's Destiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've been seeing everywhere on Instagram and Pinterest these short passion twists. And I decided I was going to recreate them. The only thing I changed was the size of the parts because I did not want it to be large and I wanted the hair to be fuller. So if you want to see how I did this hairstyle, keep watching. For this hairstyle, I used a clear red one, a crochet hook, passion twist hair I got from Amazon, and rubber bands. So first off, I'm sectioning off my hair. This alone took me two hours. Y'all, I cannot see the back of my head and I feel like it's so hard to park your own hair. But I eventually got it. I did actually connect my camera to my phone so that way I could see the back of my head better and get straighter parts, but they're still not that straight. put a rubber band I twisted it twice around my fingers and then wrapped it around like three to four times and this is what it looks like with all the parts I went ahead and did the back rows off camera and now I'm gonna show y'all how to do each one so the first thing I did was fluff out my passion twist here I ended up using about two strands per twist. Next, I'm going to apply some red one to my hair itself this time until my hair is well coated. Now I'm going to use my crochet hook and pull the passion twist through under the rubber band. Now, to get my passion twist started, I'm going to use one section of the passion twist here and wrap it around about three to four times over the rubber band so that way it can be covered. And now I'm just twisting as I normally do with my hair. And I just kept twisting until I felt comfortable enough to put a red band and cut off the excess hair because I did not want to cut off my hair. Here I am measuring the length of the passion twist so I can make sure it's even before I cut it. Here I am repeating the steps for the other sections of my hair. y'all it's so important to focus on which direction you should be twisting because as you can see i was twisting in the wrong direction and it was not giving mm -mm. but i eventually noticed and twisted it in the other direction and it was all good i went ahead and did the rest off camera and i'm gonna show y'all what it looked like two days after y'all y'all and mm, okay I really like these. Look at this. I could do so much with it. The only problem I had with this is that it don't last. Like, oh, yep. <laughs> this was three weeks out. And to be honest, this was looking much better on camera because in person, this twist was giving locks. As you can see, the parts are non-existent yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, it was time to go. Overall, this is a cute hairstyle that I think anyone can do at home, especially since it doesn't last. It doesn't make sense to pay over $100 to do a hairstyle that lasts two weeks. Mm -mm. No, thank you. But anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.